Okay, hello, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to my current slash merch favourites. Kind of like doing them in the middle of the month, so you guys aren't bombarded with all of the favourites that usually come out then, because I know I get a little bit overwhelmed. But yeah, I thought I would chat you guys through my current favourites and what I've just been loving at the moment. So I do look a bit of a mess because I just ran out into the rain to grab a fresh batch of one of my favourites and yeah this has been featured a lot in my snapchat and it is the Dunkin Donuts iced coffee but the pistachio version. I don't know I picked it up on a whim it's kind of the closest place to me that I can just grab a really quick coffee and I love pistachio flavoured things if you like pistachio flavoured like macarons or coffee then you will certainly like this and it is you know it's cheap it's in a ratchet ass you know Dunkin Donuts cup but it tastes amazing mm. Mm -mm -mm. so my next favourite I only got a few days ago but I think you guys will understand why they're going to be my favourites I know I'm jumping the gun a little bit but these are going to be my favourites for this month next month and hopefully the rest of my life because plastic never degrades um but yeah so I got a pair of sunglasses uh, I really needed a new pair and I decided a long time ago that my next pair of expensive Glasses would be from Celine, so these are from obviously Celine Paris. I really like the model style and all the information down in the down bar, but I adore them. I went for the square ones. They are they are quite hard to find, but I love how they look. They just are life. Um, I love the three dots that all the Celine Sunnies have. Um, I went for a square shape because it suits my face shape better and I adore them. I just think they're classic, they're elegant. So I did have to hunt these down a little bit because they are discontinued. But I did find some similar styles online as well as some amazing dupes that were like super affordable. So I did a whole blog post on the dupes and kind of close up pictures of these bad boys. So I will leave that blog post down in the down bar for you guys if you are interested. Next favourite I'm pretty excited to talk to you guys about because I haven't been able to talk about them until they came out today. So um, I got like a PR drop of some stuff. I usually don't accept press drops or um, products to try unless I've heard of the brand before or if they're a brand that I really want to work with. But this was a brand that I didn't hear about before and it was called Glossier. And I had a look on the website and I thought, okay, this is kind of my vibe. Let's give it a go. Send me out the products and I'll see what I think about them. And I actually adore them. I wear a lot of makeup for my YouTube videos, but actually on the day-to-day -day basis, my favorite kind of makeup is that kind of barely there, you but not covered up kind of makeup. So for example, like this is the model that's on the inside of the box that the phase two set came in and that's the kind of makeup i like to go for on a day-to-day -day basis that like very very model glossy kind of look i don't know i'm not a model but you know we all we all can hope so the first product that i tried in the phase two set was the boy brow kind of setting eyebrow gel and i really liked this because it added a little bit of color into my brows as well as setting them i have very big unruly brows so you know setting my brows is like a must so they just added like a little bit of color to my brows and also set them without them feeling crunchy like they don't feel crunchy on my face at all whereas other ones kind of do most of the time but i really fell in love with two of the products in the face set one of them being these bad boys which are the generation g lip sticks i suppose you could call them i love how narrow they are they're very very easy to apply in terms of you know um doing your lips evenly but the kind of lipstick that you really can just put on in the dark you don't need a mirror to apply them and i don't have a lot of products like that when i read the information on these i really didn't know what to expect they kind of described them as like a stain um lived in color sort of look but actually i ended up loving them i thought they'd be a bit wishy-washy in terms of color and lots of the products that i've tried like this that kind of have you know going for that like stained look usually are quite glossy but these are actually pretty matte on the lips i have one of them on now i have the shade like on right now and um, that's it there and i adore it it really does do what it says on the tin which was to give that sort of stained kind of blotted lipstick look it kind of gives you the effect that you've kind of just blotted or tapped a little bit of matte lipstick on your lips to give a really really soft look and you know less like intense and it does exactly that but you can pretty much keep applying it you'll never sort of over apply this product and last but not least my favorite product from the drop was the stretch concealer 
and as soon as I felt the texture of this I was like oh my god please be good please be good please be good it, it was described as like an elastic moisturizing kind of concealer and as soon as you touch it it's very very emollient and I was excited to try it because it said it was buildable you guys know my under eyes are like the bane of my life and I've tried every type of concealer and corrector on the high end that's out there and this is like my favorite texture I have ever tried I have dry skin my under eyes are quite dry as well so I find that the concealers with the best coverage usually really dry out and by the end of the day it just looks like crispy and cakey and all my lines you can see all of where it's creased and I can't like pat the creases out. With this, this is totally buildable. I put this on my blue veins to test the coverage and it's incredible. I'm wearing it under my eyes today. Um, I actually wore it all day long today without setting it. It was absolutely fine. I did have a little bit of creasing, but it's to be expected with the texture. And because it's so moisturizing, it was very, very easy to just pat out. You get so much product in here and I'm just, I'm so impressed. Ooh, coffee break. Mm. Oh, I forgot, Glossier actually gave me a code that you get the Universal Skin Salve for free if you do order the Phase 2 set. So I have been using this as well, I got three of them and I've already used up one of them. And they're basically like a salve that you can use all over your body. Next little fave is my gorgeous little monster plant right here. He's the Xenophenia? Xenoph something like that anyway but he's like a monster I love him and he's beautiful he's very grey toned and I adore it and um, this one I got from a US online store but I'm sure you can get them in the UK as well I'll put the link of where I got mine in the down bar it was only like $12 and I've been filling my freaking apartment with them I think I have like four different kinds but this is the, I think this is my favorite it's like curly it looks like ribbons and it's my favorite it's an air plant so there's minimal like you don't have to take care of it you don't need to put it in soil you just need to kind of water it like once a week and it's good so I will try and keep it alive I'm not guaranteeing anything but yeah it looks fantastic so I will leave like a UK and a US link to the type of plant it is down in the down bar for you guys next favorite is one that I meant to mention in my January kind of tips stay healthy for the new year video I leave it in the description if you want to watch it after this video but I meant to mention these and I didn't and I've been dying to talk about them so real quick real quick story time and um, these are basically coconut oil gel capsules so I'm right down to the bottom I need to get some more and these are absolutely incredible we all know coconut oil is great for cooking and your hair and taking off makeup but these gel capsules take those applications to a whole another spectrum. They are incredible and what they do for me is they are antibacterial and they also promote internal healing. And here's where my little story time comes in. Um, basically a lot of last year I was suffering on and off. I really felt old because I'm never sick and there's nothing ever wrong with me. But basically I was suffering from a kind of type of internal injury and I was in a lot of pain on and off for the year. I would sometimes feel the pain so strongly that I thought I would need to be rushed to hospital. But it was just really bad to the point where I saw a consultant and I had surgery and I was okay for two months after the surgery. I thought that that was it, I was gonna be fine. And it came back and I was really scared because I was about to move to New York and I was like, I didn't have time to have another operation and all this kind of stuff. So all I could do was think of ways that I could fix myself at home holistically. I would live in fear about what I ate. Everything seemed to set me off anytime I had red meat, anytime I had certain white carbs. I would just be in so much pain that evening. This, this basically gave my injury a chance to heal up faster um, and keep the area like disinfected internally and all that kind of good stuff. So you can basically eat them, obviously. And also I have read that you can use them other ways and put them in other places if you get my drift. But with these, I felt almost immediate relief, um, if not immediate, within a few hours. And anytime I do get a twinge of that pain coming back, I take one and I'm usually fine within a few hours. I actually just take them a few times a week just because I think they're good for my insides. So yeah, I would highly recommend getting these bad boys just to 
keep your insides happy. My next favorite is very like domestic of me, but if you live in New York, you will appreciate what I have to say next. Um, but basically I've been using Instacart a lot. You know, in the UK, you get your shopping from Tesco or Sainsbury's and they deliver it to you. It's very straightforward. You pay delivery fee and you get your groceries. Well, it's not like that in New York. Um, it's very difficult to get groceries. It is very expensive to get groceries. Anywhere here in the Upper East Side is very, very expensive. Um, and you pay two to three dollars more for like a simple thing like milk or cereal than you would at some of the further out stores. I did a lot of research and Instacart was like the most straightforward one with the best prices and had all of the products that I needed. A lot of the different delivery places only either deliver fresh produce and some of the places don't deliver uh, perishable goods so you know things that can go spoil like milk and cream and then some of the places don't have like everyday items items like domestic items like washing up liquid and all this stuff and Instacart was the only place where I could get all of those things delivered to me at like a set price that I know what I was paying at the very end and no none of the other services did that somebody actually told them how much I was raving about them on snapchat because I usually do like little grocery hauls over there and like daily vlogs um yeah so they gave me a discount code for the first 50 of you it's basically five dollars off your next grocery shop so who doesn't like free groceries? It will at least cover your, your delivery charge. So if you want that, I will leave the coupon code in the down bar below. Lastly, I have some TV show favorites and uh, now I'm living, not that single girl life, I mean, I'm still taken, but I, I mean, physically I am single and um, living on my own. And uh, I've now become a Netflix and chill by myself kind of gal. And I've been catching up on lots of shows um, to fill up my, my lonely evenings. Uh, one of them being Jessica Jones. I really enjoy Jessica Jones on Netflix. And I'm really going to look forward to kind of when they combine Jessica Jones and the Daredevil together. But um, yeah, if you liked the, the Netflix show Daredevil, then you will like Jessica Jones. I am all for, well, I love action movies. It's like one of my favorite genres of, is when I get an action movie where there is a strong lead protagonist main role that basically kicks ass. And that's what Jessica Jones is. She's that actress that I can't remember her name but she's just she's just in things and she's super pretty and it's a really really good little Netflix series uh, and my last favorite on Netflix as well and I kind of want to marry Netflix for putting that like the whole 10 seasons on is The X-Files and I know I know you're probably like Tara that is so cheesy but it's amazing like it's amazing um <laughs> I am very much a closet paranormal enthusiast. I love anything to do with aliens, and ghosts, and things that are unseen. And uh, The X-Files is basically all about that with drama thrown in there. Um, and investigation, and crime, and all the things that I, I love from kind of television series. Is. And oh my God, I love Gillian Anderson. I love David Duchovny. And I love the way The X-Files story is like told. Oh my god, there's a cockroach on my wall and I'm literally dying. I remember like sneaking into my living room when I was like really young and like watching TV at night. I used to always do that for some reason. And the X when the X-Files came on, I used to like literally be so excited I couldn't stop watching, but at the same time I'd be really scared. Um, but now that I'm older, I've like gone back to it with like a whole different perspective and I'm not scared anymore to watch it. It's not like one plot all the time. It's sort of like this long arc of, you know, the main underlining story, which is very like conspiracy and mythology and all about like alien abductions and um, their personal experiences. But then they have these standalone episodes that break up the whole, like that break up all the seasons basically. And they're usually like kind of investigation, pr uh, crime, uh, monsters, uh, strange people. Uh, some of them are actually comedies as well. So it's kind of like this really, strange but set up that actually works but my favorite were the mythology i did tend to skip up over a lot of the monster episodes to kind of get to that really strong underlining drama that kind of goes throughout seasons and there was a brand new season that just came out it was like a mini series and i was so happy to see them back after like 20 years you guys like Gillian Anderson, like honestly, Scully and Mulder are like my otp for life my only true pairing for life is those two because there is literally 200 episodes to watch so I mean if you're like me and 
you know, a spinster, you're basically sorted. So that was it, that was my favourites. I'm absolutely dreading editing this because I rambled on so much, but that's what these videos are about. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. And if you can't wait until then, I have Snapchat now, which is basically daily vlogging. So I will leave my username as well as all my other socials down below. Catch you on the flip side, boom. What was that? I'm sorry. <laughs>